to make sure the dog doesn't. Basically, yeah. All right, so let's, um, let's go and take a look here. So here, guys, we have three equations. So if you guys remember what we did last class period, we looked at having them as an equation and then just graphing them. So we can, we can look at this as y. I'm saying you don't need that right now. x plus 3 cubed, y equals 2, and y equals x minus 1, right? So we basically have three equations that we go ahead and need to graph. Yes? That's, that's all that piece. Right? That's what we left last class period with. Instead of two functions like the rest of them, now we have three. Now, can we graph each and every one of these um, parent functions? Well, yes, we should. Yes? Huh? Oh, thank you. OK. So in this example, we have x plus 4 cubed. And we know from our basic transformations that is the cubic function shifted four units to the left. So 1, 2, 3, 4. All right, and we should just know the general shape of the cubic function. It's going to look like that s curve. All right. However, now once we've graphed it, we look at the constraint. And we say this function is only true for x values that are less than negative 4. So here's negative 4. It's saying I only want to, the domain is restricted for all values that are less than negative 4, right? <coughs> x equals negative 4. So that means this is not included in the domain of the function, right? Anything to the right of negative 4 is not included in the domain. Does that make sense? Yes? OK. So, so we're just going to erase it. And then it says x is less than, so therefore we know that that's an open circle. Now we move to the next one, y equals 2. Well, guys, whatever x is, if x equals 1, y equals 2. If x equals negative 10, y equals 2. So it's just a horizontal line at y equals 2. However, we have a restriction on the domain. The restriction of this domain is all the values in the domain have to be greater than or equal to negative 4, but less than 1. So we say, OK, it can be greater than or equal to negative 4, but it has to be less than positive 1. Right? So anything that's not in that domain, we're going to erase. Then the last one is y equals x minus 1. Well, that's just a linear, that's just a line. y intercept at 1, up 1 over 1. Right? So it looks something like this. But is it domain for all real numbers? No, just like our warm up, just like we did last class period, we're taking that line and we are restricting it. And it's being restricted for all values that are greater than or equal to 1. So we look at where is this equal to 1? Right there. So it's only for values greater than or equal to 1. So that means anything to the left of 1, we are going to erase. And now that is what that function looks like, that piecewise function. Okay, So it's just a com combination, guys, of different functions with restrictions on their domain. And that's it.